right, here's a review for your quiz tomorrow, and your review, sorry, your quiz tomorrow will be very similar to this review. So, let's do this. Number one, which of the following is a correct similarity statement? So let's remember here that order matters. Okay. So if we do JLK, JLK, that has to be PRQ, and it's not. So A is not in the right order, so not A. KLJ, KLJ, would have to be QRP, and it's not. Okay, JKL, J to K to L should be P to Q to R in the same order, uh, but it's not, so it's not C. Process of elimination, but let's already, let's check it. KJL, K to J to L should be Q to P to R, and it is, so it is letter D, okay? So do you see how that works? All right, number two, what scale factor was used to dilate the larger to the smaller? Okay, so let's put the smaller number on top of the proportion. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one connection, 40 and 15. Okay, that's our connection. All right, and then we're going to put the, like it says, a smaller number on top. So that's going to be 15 over 40. And what we can do is reduce that. Either we're going to be really good at reducing on our own, or we can use our yellow calculator. And this is glitching bad. Okay. 15 over 40. Is 3 over 8. All right. So we end up getting 3 over 8. Remember, if you put this the wrong side, you know, if you put the, the bigger on top of the smaller, you're not going to get the right thing. You're going to get C, but it ain't C. That's the wrong way. It is B because you take a connection. Okay. From right there, you take that connection. Okay. All right. So what's the length of KJ? Well... If we put it, let's put an X here, okay? And we can make this connection. So KJ is missing its X, and we have 15 to 40, X to 24. We can make those two fractions, 15 to 40, X to 24. And now we have a proportion we can solve using cross multiplying and dividing, right? 15 times 24. Is 360. So 360 equals, and then 40 times x, 40x. Then all we got to do is divide by that 40. So 360 divided by 40 should give you 9. So again, you get rid of that coefficient by dividing. And you should get nine. All right. Then it says, what is the measure of angle R? Well, remember the angles are congruent. Okay, so angles are congruent. It's not just any angles, I guess. We should say that's the matching angles are congruent or I, I guess a better word is corresponding angles are congruent 
What does that mean? Well, if K is 92, then Q is 92. And if P is 40, J is 40. Right? And then we're looking for what? Angle R? Well, to find these missing two angles, we'll take the two we know, 92 and 40. 92 plus 40. Gives me 132. Subtract that from 180, and you should get 48. So each of these missing angles will be 48 degrees, 48 degrees, and that'll give us letter D, 48 degrees. Cool. All right. Over here, are the triangles similar? Now, what we need to do is we need to see if all three sides are proportional. Similar, all three sides. I love that so much. Are proportional. All right, so let's make these connections. And please notice, see how the 79 is at the top, then it's at the bottom. This has been rotated. All right, so since it's been rotated, 12 goes to 16. 5 goes to 6.667. 9 goes to 12. All right. So, let's make these fractions. 12 over 16, 5 over 6.67, 6, uh, sorry, 6, 6, 7, and then 9 over 12. What do these three equal? Here we go. 12 over 16. All right. 5 over 6.667. 9 over 12. Now, this might, might not look like it's exactly all the same, okay? But this 667 has been rounded. It goes on forever. Remember, 3 over 4 is 0.75. And this rounds to 0.75. So 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. All three of these actually are the same. Ching. So, yes, they are similar, okay? Now, what scale factor was used to dilate the smaller to the larger? Well, let's go ahead and put, and this time we're going to put the larger on top of the proportion. So, let's take this connection right here. Larger on top, 12 over 9. We're just following those instructions. What is 12 divided by 9? 4 over 3. Okay. Again, I'm following the instructions in the problem. Cool. Which one of these is true? Is PIT similar to LAD? So P is 48. L is 48. I is 79, A is 79, T is missing, D is missing. We could figure those out. But PIT and LAD actually is similar. Okay? Order matters here, and order matters here. Cool. Uh, let's look at PTI, LAD. 
PTI, P and L match, but T and A don't match. So the A messes up that one. So not B. IPT, LAD. I is 79, L is 48, the very first letter does not match, okay? Last but not least, solve the following proportion. You should be able to cross multiply and divide. So 12 times X is 12 X equals, and then you got three times X plus six, so three parentheses X plus six. And then you can distribute, three times x is three x, three times six is 18. Bring down 12 x. X cannot be on both sides, so we get rid of the smaller x, minus three x, minus three x. 12 minus three is nine x, equals 18. Last step to get rid of that nine, we divide and we get x equals two. Cool, so that is your quiz review. Your quiz is very similar to that, so make sure you are ready and study.